Hey everyone, Kaylee here. So I wanted to recreate Taylor Swift's makeup from the red carpet at the Grammys this year. I thought it was such a nice, natural, smoky, kind of smoldery eye, and I thought it was something anyone could wear. So I'm taking this peachy pink blush and just applying a tiny bit to my cheeks. She didn't really have any noticeable blush on, but I just wanted a little bit to wake my face up. And then I put on this highlighter that's not too shimmery, and I just put it over the tops of my cheekbones just to add a little bit of life into my skin. Then I'm priming my eyes with Urban Decay's Prime Potion in Eden, and obviously my bottle is really beat up. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a creamy kind of brown eyeshadow. And you don't have to use a cream eyeshadow if you want, but basically you're going to go ahead and start on the outside corner of the eye and extend just a little bit to make kind of a cat eye shape. Then go ahead and extend around the bottom lid in towards the inner corner. And repeat that on the other eye. And then you're going to go ahead and extend from that wing over top of your lid and then just keep building it up over the entire lid. And that creates that kind of cat eye almondy shape that Taylor Swift is so famous for. So you just want to build that up until you've got it completely covered. Then you're going to take a shimmery taupe color and put that just over kind of the top of your lid just to add some kind of warm shimmer in there. And then we're going to take a really shimmery gray color and we're going to pull that from the outside in following that cat eye shape. So you kind of want to follow the shape that we just made on the outside and then just keep pulling it in until you've got that gray and that taupe mixing on top of the lid and making a nice kind of warm gray color. And then you're going to go ahead and bring it along the bottom lashes as well. This is going to help to enhance the smokiness of what you have going on under there and a little bit of the drama as well. Then you're going to take a really dark brown and apply that into the crease. Now I chose a dark brown because I think it helps to warm up a smoky eye a lot and it really just adds to the richness of a smoky eye because I feel like if you just stick with grays it can cool it down a lot and it can make it look a little cheap. Use a clean brush to go ahead and blend out the edge. Then you're going to use a matte color in close to your skin tone or a little bit lighter and apply it just underneath your eyebrow to go ahead and blend the rest of that. Then take a black eyeliner and we're going to line the top lid. We're going to line all the way around, making sure it's a really thin line in towards the inner corner, and then wing out the outside. Once you've got all that in place, you're going to take a smudger brush and go ahead and smudge that around until you've got a nice smoky look. Then we're going to take a black eyeshadow and add to the smokiness even more and build it up. So put basically the eyeshadow over everywhere where the eyeliner is. It makes the black a lot more intense and it helps to add to the smokiness as well. Then you're going to go ahead and take your eyeliner and line the waterline all the way into the inner corner. And then on your tight line or waterline, I always get them mixed up, um, you're going to go ahead and put a skin color or a white. Now you're going to take a shimmery highlight that's close to your skin tone and place that on the inner corner. And now it's time for mascara. I use my favorite volumizing one just to go ahead and add the volume to my lashes. Then once they were dry, I ran through with a dry little spoolie to break up any clumps and then applied another coat of another volumizing mascara. And then I used yet another mascara on my bottom lashes. You don't have to go through all that, it's just kind of my thing, so don't worry about it. Then for my brows, I used um, a clear mascara to go ahead and set them into place. I kind of brushed them up and then I kind of comb over any little hairs that are sticking out. And then I filled in any sparse areas with my Anastasia brow pencil, which I love. It's new to me, but I really, really like it. Um, and then I went ahead and did my lips with a nude color and then finished it off with more of a pinky tone to get that peachy pink pout that Taylor had. And finally, that is it. You've got your nice, natural, but still kind of smoldery, smoky eye. I really like it, and I hope you guys do too. Here are all of my little links if you want them, and also, what is your favorite way to wear a smoky eye? Tell me in the comments, I'm curious. Also, here's my previous video if you want to check that out, and I will see you guys on Friday with another Grammy-inspired tutorial. See you then. Mwah! Bye!